Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video, I am making a cube house. Or at least I thought I was in the beginning. I, yeah, it kind of turned out as a cube house. But I thought it would be a cool idea, kind of like the whole container challenge, but instead of having like containers, just having like these square blocks and then having those stacked on each other. So I was kind of going for that, but I was totally thrown off by the fact that the diagonal walls were shorter or no, I mean longer than the normal walls are. So the top cube is not exactly the same dimensions as the bottom cubes, despite the fact that they are in game. They just don't look like it. But I thought it would be a cool idea and I was going to see if I could make it turn out okay. And it looked, I don't know, it just looked really modern to me. So I thought I was going to make it like an ultra modern house. And I guess you could say it is pretty plain inside. I don't know. I went for a more darker theme than I normally do. I went for just black, <laughs> black and white mainly. Um, and that is because I could not figure out what type of interior would be in this kind of house. And all the other types of houses I've seen that are like this, like concept houses, they're often very, very modern inside. And the only way I thought I could make it suit inside, like the, make the inside suit the outside, would make it just, would be to just make it black inside. So that is what I did. My f my color of choice for this is just black and I don't know I got some masculine vibes while building this like it was some architect who built his own house and this is what he came up with so that is why it is going to be quite dark inside and for the roof I had I did not have this in mind when building it but when I made it I thought it looked really cool so I ended up just keeping that but I had no idea like I had no intentions of making that Normally, I don't even put roofs on like ultra modern homes because I can't make a modern looking roof that suits the build. But for this one, I really liked it. Like, I, I don't know how I did it. I think I'm going to have to play around with it to try to re like replicate it. But I think it looks really cool and I've never seen anyone do this with a roof before. So I was really proud about that as something original added. But yeah, I was really struggling with the outside because as you guys know, I really tried to make the exterior of the houses look good as well and not just plain as I always did in the beginning. I would just make a house and just forget about the outside part. But here I really wanted to make it look good from the outside. So that is why I added these balcony type things. There is not going to be a door to them, but I imagine that these windows would kind of be like sliding windows so in reality you could go out in them but in the sims they don't really have these sliding doors in the sims 4 at least and they kind of bummed me up but i decided to just pretend like you could go out there anyways and i ended up ended up adding a chimney and that is because it had kind of two purposes one thing is i could then actually put in a fireplace and then second of all because i really wanted to have these wardrobes in that are like built in the wall and i couldn't make it so that they didn't just stick out of the build so I thought why not just add a chimney and then it's not really realistic but it, the, the, there is a place for the closet to be on the outside of the house where it doesn't look totally weird so I ended up putting a chimney in and I think it looked really well because it kind of balanced out the house in my opinion it was a really square before but this diagonal chimney going up kind of saved it a bit I felt like so, and as you can see for the bedroom, again, the main theme, basically just being black. Everything's black. And that is, as I said before, again, because I just imagined this being really masculine. And for some reason in my head, masculine means everything's black. And <laughs> I'm probably wrong about that, but I didn't know what else I could do that would fit with the house. So that is what I did. And I imagined this being for like, um, yeah, someone creative, either author or like an architect or something, because they have this working space with these huge windows where they can just look out and just think and get some work done. So, um, and here I'm making the kitchen and of course, choice of color is again black. And I think this is actually one of my first kitchens I've made that is just fully black. And again, it's because I normally try to make it light so it doesn't get too clunky and too dark. But here I kind of thought that it suited this build. So went for that and 
this wallpaper. I really like this wallpaper and I have not yet found a billet where it's suited for it. Like, I tried to put this in, but I end up changing it because it just doesn't fit. So unfortunately, I really like it, but I still haven't found that perfect billet for it yet. So that is why I started out with that wallpaper, but I think I'm going to change it actually in all the rooms. Pretty sure I will. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I put up this half wall in uh, like the hallway, so the kitchen is not actually a separate room, but it is closed off and that is again because I feel like today modern houses or like homes are really about the airiness and the space and all about having like not having everything separated one more having it um what's it called like just openness I don't know if that's a word but yeah and actually here the couch and this chair is the only things I as I remember that are like colorful and that is because I really like this couch that came with the glamour life and I thought it would be nice to have this chair in to kind of complement the, the yellow on the couch and I was kind of inspired after I made that living room video where I made the black and yellow living room. I actually really like those colors together so I decided to kind of add that in as a little easter egg <laughs> or whatnot and yeah for the living room I kept it small and that is because I didn't have room for more than a bed for two people so it is for two people but there is this three-seater couch so they can have guests and stuff but the living room I mean the dining room is also pretty small I actually kind of forgot about that um, right now there is a dining room in the not dining room dining table in the kitchen but I end up end up putting that down in the other side because I realized that the bathroom was not going to be as big as I thought it was so I just put in the dining room where a part of the bathroom was originally going to be so I put it out here by the window and again for the whole modern thing the whole big windows and looking out and all that kind of stuff so that is why I ended up moving it there but now looking back there's only room for two people so despite the fact that they can have guests in the couch they can't have eating guests or guests for dinner which is kind of sad but yeah can't fit everything can't have room for everything sometimes you just gotta just gotta prioritize and often when I make these builds I tend to make them smaller and that is as I said many times before I'd rather have something not there than have a blank or like an empty space so with, the, with these sizes normally I, I know that I can fit the things in that I want so it's always an easier option for me but uh, I really felt like the star of the show for this house was mainly just the exterior it was really fun to um, furnish and stuff but I felt like it was more of a wow factor from the outside, especially with that roof. That roof. <laughs> um, but yeah, that I'm about to be done here. I didn't add a backyard, and that's because I couldn't find room for a back door or like a, a just a door that goes out to the garden in the house. I couldn't find room for that, so I decided to just not give them a back garden because if they did, they would have to go out through the front door, and I felt like that was a little bit tedious. So I just gave them a little front yard and then I imagined that this was maybe in some town setting. But yeah, that was the house. As you can see, I went for the black and white and a little bit of yellow here and there. And that was it for this build. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is up for download if you want to download it. And if there's anything you want to see, leave it in the comments below. But that was it for this time. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.